Today I'm working on my wife's 2012 Audi Q5. Um, what's happening is this uh, little screen in the middle of the instrument cluster is intermittently just going out. Like right now, turn it on, this thing should be lit up and it is staying off. So I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to show you how to fix this. So first thing you need to do is uh, just take your steering wheel and make sure it's adjusted all the way down and, and then pull it towards you and then just push it down and then lock it up. And then take this piece of trim here and pull this out, pull this towards you, it's just clipped in. So here it is. So now you can see the two screws right there. There's one here, one here. Use an eight millimeter socket, take those both out, and then you can, that's all that's mounting this. So once those two screws are out, you can just pull this cluster straight out, get under here, kind of wiggle it until it comes out, undo the, the plugs at the back, and then you're good. What I'm gonna do is um, swap, the, swap the screen out of this used unit, just a junkyard uh, instrument cluster, into, the, uh, into my wife's uh, instrument cluster here, so. There's a bunch of, you're gonna use a T10 Torx screw around the perimeter of this and then a few of them through the middle here and here. And uh, get all those screws out of there. And then um, these little plastic clips have to be released. You may need a several screwdrivers to kind of hold them while you're um, releasing them all. So you can pop these covers apart and get this thing dismantled. So I'm gonna undo all these screws and then start um, getting these clips released and start pulling this apart now. Now that I pulled the, the covers off, just those screws I showed you and then those clips, you can release those with a screwdriver and then you're good. Then you can get to, uh, you can get to everything. You can, uh, see, I'm going, that's pretty cool. Theoretically, that's how fast you can go right there. It looks like about 200. Um, back here, you, uh, these little plastic tabs here, you push these in, they're just little barbs, push these three in. This one, this one, and uh, this one. And then the screen is loose now. With the screen loose, you can pull this up and you can get to the ribbon cable that attaches this to the circuit board. It's right there. So, you look at this, and then this is what you have to release now. So, releasing this, you can basically just pull up on it and get it out of here. Try to get it down here by the base of the um, by the base of the uh, plug and just pull up on it. There it is. So here's the screen. This is what I'm gonna swap into the other one. Pretty easy to do, you just kind of reverse procedure. Obviously I got smudges all over this and it's pretty gross so I'm gonna have to clean it off before I stick it back in there. And um, be very careful with these two pins here. These pins have to fit into there so when you're installing it just focus on that more than even the barbs in the back. Those aren't as important. Plug this in push it on straight, clip it in, screw it all back together, and uh, you should be good to go. So sometimes with these, I've even just unplugged them and plugged them back in and had them, you know, just continue to work. I don't know what, I don't know what the problem is, if there's a connection issue through this ribbon pin or, or, or what exactly the problem is here. But just noting that it may even be worth, since this is pretty easy to get apart, it may even be worth just unplugging it and plugging it back in and um, seeing what happens. So thanks for watching.